Hi, fifth graders. My name is Becky Reisner, and I am your math and social studies teacher for virtual learning this year. And I am so excited to be with you guys. I know this is a tough time, and a lot of you probably wish you were back in school. Um, so do we. But we're going to make the best of what we have uh, to deal with, and it's going to be a great year, fifth grade online or at school. So a couple little things I want to talk to you about, and I'm going to be honest with you. I had to make notes. Mrs. Reisner forgets a lot. So we, we make notes to remember. And that's a great thing for you to use as a tool as well. If there's questions you have for uh, myself or Mrs. Henry, who is going to be teaching with me, um, write them down. And when you meet with us on Zoom, you can talk to us, ask the questions, and you'll have it right there and you don't have to worry about forgetting about it. So the first thing I want to kind of tell you about is about myself. Um, I've been teaching for heading into 19 years. Um, I have taught always with Southwest Looking Schools. I started out in third grade at Kirkersville and um, I've been at Aetna since we did the great banding. So for five years, six years. Um, Math is my favorite subject, and social studies is my second favorite subject. So this year is really exciting for me because I haven't had that combination for a long time. A um, couple things about distance learning. We are going to be um, using Google Classroom and Zoom and Class Dojo for communication, both for your learning, for questions, um, for checking in, posting things. So those are all tools we're going to use. There's several different apps we're going to use as well, but those are your key three. So we gotta, we're going to practice um, this coming week on using um, Google Classroom because that's going to have the links for pretty much everything that we need to do. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is a good workspace. I know that being at home, it's easy to stay in your jammies all day and climb up on the couch and um, just kind of get comfy there. But to learn, we really need to be able to focus in without distractions like the ding that my phone just made or um, animals, which you may hear in a little bit running around. We need a quiet learning space and you need to keep it kind of organized. So what I'm going to show you here, I brought my desk up. Hopefully you can see it when I turn it right. I brought my desk up from downstairs and I have everything organized. I have my note paper, my sticky notes. Mrs. Reasoner loves her sticky notes. Pens, anything I may need to do uh, distance learning. Okay. I don't suggest you have a clutter in your bedroom because I don't know about you, but I struggle to focus when I'm in my bedroom or sitting on the couch. If I'm sitting somewhere specific every day, I do better with my learning. Okay. Um, also, you want to make sure you check in on time with our Zooms. You're going to have a schedule and make sure that you have all the materials you need for that day. Because if you have to leave the Zoom, they're, they're not real long, they're only 30 minutes. And if you have to leave, you're missing on crucial time to talk. Um, so a couple things I want you to do. We all start August 24th, so I, I can't wait to meet you all. Do me a favor though, get your space all organized. And then once you get on Class Dojo and join my class, Upload pictures of that of your organized space. I can't wait to see where you're learning. And maybe we can spend some time kind of decorating it up a little bit with some encouraging thoughts to keep us motivated. I can't wait to see you guys on the 24th. Take care. Bye.